everybody, it's Courtney again, and this is going to be part two of my 2015 book challenge thingy um, that I'm doing on my channel, and I hope you guys are sort of reading along slash reading your own books and doing this, because it's actually really a fun kind of challenge, like to make you sit down and not Tumblr and Pinterest so much, which is my main problem. Um, so today I only have one book to do in this outfit, so it'll be pretty. This clip's going to be really short, hopefully. Um, this is my nonfiction book. And it is called The New Science of Learning, How to Learn in Harmony with Your Brain. And it's by Professor Terry Doyle and Professor Todd Zikrudzig. I don't know. I, um, I don't know how to say it. Um, so basically this book is about how to learn, like it says, in harmony with your brain. So um, different, like how movement affects your brain, exercise, healthy diet, sleeping, um, how to effectively study, so, um, and like how like long-term memories are formed when you're sleeping, stuff like that. So it's, it's all, it's, it was super educational, it's super fancy. Um, the, Terry is actually my advisor, her husband. Um, and he is awesome, like he is so dynamic, like when he presents. Um, and he's super passionate about everything. It's fantastic. Um, so he's very awesome. So definitely this is something that I know our library has, but that's because he's a professor here. So, um, if you're interested, this book is a whole lot of learning. Honestly, it helped me. It kind of puts things in perspective for you. Like don't stay up all night long when you have a test, like study, sleep, and then in the morning you'll probably remember more of it. Um, then staying up all night studying, stuff like that. And then, um, so this is my nonfiction book. Hi guys, it's Courtney again, and I am going to finally do the second entry in my 2015 book challenge, which is 50 books in 365 days, and it's already June. So, <laughs> anyway. Okay, so I have a couple more that I'm going to talk about after this book, but this is one that I'm still technically reading, but by the time that this gets posted, I will be done because I... I'm eating this book up. It's so good. It's really good. Um, it's called 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. And it this is the book that makes me cry. And I've actually already read this, which is how I know it's going to make me cry. Um, it's a really interesting story. If you guys haven't read it, if you haven't, I th thoroughly suggest picking it up um, from the library or something. It is um, a girl that actually commits suicide and she leaves tapes behind of 13 reasons why she committed suicide. Um, super interesting. Um, so the thing I'm going to talk about today is the trilogy that I read, which is the Divergent Trilogy. Um, and so the first one is Divergent, the second one is, oh gosh, I'm going to have to Google the third one's Allegiant, and I just re finished it, and it broke my soul. Broke it, I'll tell you. I'm not about to give any spoilers away, but it broke my soul. Okay. Um, momentary pause. Okay, so the first book is Divergent, the second is Insurgent, and then the third is called Allegiant, and then there's actually a fourth book that I believe is already out from Four's perspective, which is the main male character in the book series, um, and it's that book is from his perspective, so I believe that's already out in store, and I actually returned them to my best friend, so I don't have the books to actually show you guys, but they have really pretty covers, and as you guys probably know they are also movies that are in the last three or four years have been out um, and the last one should be coming out eventually in life and stuff and I'm also almost done with another book that I'm going to add to this video so that there's actually three books and not just two because that's just saying okay so the last entry in this sec section segment thingamajig whatever this is 
of the 2015 book challenge part two is going to be this book right her it's called the girl with the dragon tattoo and it's by Stieg Larsson I don't think I'm saying that first name correctly but it's okay um you guys are probably pretty familiar with this book it was made into a movie pretty recently like within the last five years um and to be honest it's very similar if you do read this book the only uh thing to know it switches back and forth from perspectives or point of views pretty quickly so until you get into like the second or third chapter it's a little bit confusing or it was for me personally um, but then it, it makes sense, so you get used to it. And this book is my number 50 on the list. It is a book that you started but never finished, and I have had this book for, I don't know, since like senior year, senior summer, like the summer after my senior year in high school, which has been a while. And so I've had it for forever, and I started it, and then I kept getting confused, and then I would stop reading it. And then I finally saw the movie like two years ago and then now I just suddenly decided to finish it. I was super determined. So I did. And if you guys want to, you should definitely read along or read your own books. I have all of the book categories listed down below in the information box along with the books that I've read with their authors next to them. And if you guys have read something really interesting or if you are doing this, um, let me know down below in the comments because I would love to check out your list too and see if you have better ideas for some of these categories. And again, if you have any suggestions for the categories I haven't done, let me know down below. I would really appreciate the help on some of these categories. If you're not already and you'd like to be, you can subscribe to my channel down below. And in the information box, you'll also find all of the links to my other social media, which include Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and my Facebook page. You can follow me there. Give me a shout out if you have. And yeah, until next time and part three of the book challenge, I will see you guys later. And I hope that you are reading along and that you let your inner bookworm just emerge and blossom into a book booker fly. It's like a butterfly, but a booker fly. Do you get it? Do you get it? Okay. I have to go now. I've embarrassed myself. I hope you guys have a great day or night or evening whenever you're watching this, and I will see you next time. Bye!